Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's 1 million by 1 million strategy roundtable for entrepreneurs. 1M by 1M, as you know, is the first and only global virtual accelerator for technology startups in the world. Our mission is to help a million entrepreneurs reach a million dollars and beyond in annual revenue. In support of that mission, this is the 581st free mentoring roundtable. These roundtables are uh, a cornerstone of our work. We also have numerous private roundtables for our members only where we do most of the project-based coaching work. Uh, we started doing these roundtables way back when in 2008, and that's what led up to the 1 million by 1 million program. The event is being recorded. Um, every recording is available on our YouTube channel and on Twitter. We are at 1M by 1M and at Romana. Today's hashtag is 1M1M. Um, today we have a, an open roundtable with one pitch, uh, so we will give you lots of opportunity to come in and talk to me if that's what you desire. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to set some expectations on entrepreneur pitches. Uh, this is a safe working session. You can come and work with me here. This is not some entertainment. This is not Shark Tank that needs to entertain millions of viewers. There's no malice in it. There's no snark in it. It's basically looking at your business and looking at what strategy will help you accelerate your journey. Uh, if you disagree with my feedback, that's fine. It's your venture. You get to do what you want to do. Listen to the feedback. See what you want to do with that feedback. And that's that. So we are going to start with Casey Ray Hills from Sheraton, Iowa. Um, Casey, would you please unmute your line and tell us what you're trying to do? Casey, we are just fine here. You need to unmute your line and speak through your phone. Doesn't seem like she can hear us. You need to speak, Casey. Oh, I thought I was going to see my slides or something. I'm sorry. Your slides are on the screen. Um, so how do I see them? Uh, I don't know. I don't have access to your desktop, so I have no idea. There is an icon on the uh, top right corner next to the slider that oh, has okay. all the photos I and videos. I had, to back out of the, I had to back out of where it listed everybody in the room. Okay, so I'm Casey Ray Hills. I live in Sheraton, Iowa. I'm a Reiki practitioner, a light energy worker, and tarot card reader. Um, yep. So uh, my business, I guess, concept would be the hybrid health properties. Um, so the, um, I guess the mission would be to provide space, environment, opportunity, and guidance to nat guidance to naturally heal with the Hugh heal, heal healing method through perception of our senses while educating and guiding our complete cosmic clients along the way while creating an avenue for social change. So I have developed a new method for healing and it is basically stimulating as many of the senses as I can simultaneously um, and then adding in vibrational healing to give the body new instruction. And then the other part of the whole thing is Dr. Joe Dispenza. He um, teaches that to heal trauma, one of the ways to heal trauma is to create an experience that has a larger emotional attachment than the trauma itself. So with the hybrid health properties, which they're in the big grandiose Aries scheme of it all, I would want to franchise this out and I would want hybrid health properties would be the parent company. And then I'd franchise out like the first one to be built. The one I want to build is mind and matter. Um, 
I forgot where I was going with that, so I apologize. <laughs> but anyways, um, I want to create an environment where you feel like you have been completely transported kind of to another another realm. I'm going to bring as much nature as I can into the building as possible. And with the QI Life uh, resonant frequency waves, I'm, they're going to be all throughout the building. So as soon as you step into the building, you will start healing. But anyway, our target clients will come from all walks of life. Um, the target is basically anyone that would suffer from anxiety, depression, trauma, addiction. Um, someone that finds themselves repeating cycles in their life. Like if you're le someone that's just left thinking, why does this keep on happening to me? or if they're feeling lost or confused or just need some time to relax and think. So the target market is basic in the beginning will probably be women 18 to 45. But the problem in today's world is the lack of mental health care, lack of coping skills taught like, honestly, we should be teaching our kindergartners coping skills. But we lack guidance and community. We've gone away from the whole, it takes a community to raise a child. The general public has a lack of understandings, uh, understanding of themselves and their purpose. So hybrid health properties is here to help people with all of that. And how we do that is, as I mentioned before, the complete cosmic person. So in Western philosophy, they have Western medicine's philosophy of a complete person is biopsychosocial. So they look at the biology of you, psychology of you, and sociology of you. Eastern medicine takes it one step further and they add in spiritual. No one takes into account astrology and all the biomagnetic energies of the universe. And those have a great deal of um, saying what tendencies you're going to have, what strengths you're going to have, what weaknesses, and what attributes. So looking at that, when a client comes in, that's going to be part of their intake is looking at that. So that way we can look at what internal struggles they're going to have and internal battles. That way we can look, we can help teach them what pitfalls to look for. Um, Let's see. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention, I didn't get through the HUE healing process. So the HUE healing process <clears throat> is, what it stands for is holistic, universal, esoteric healing. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking multiple different holistic modalities and one that'll stimulate a different, like each one stimulates a different sense and I'm going to do them simultaneously. I, yeah. So the, let's see, the Hue Healing Method. Um, part of the marketing strategy and to um, acquire clients is going to be putting together a master class. So the, what the master class is going to give is it's gonna teach people on the methodology of the Hue Healing Method. It's going to teach people the philosophy of the complete cosmic person. And then everybody, that has completed the class will get a grant, get an invitation to the grand opening. Um, and then what I hope to get from this is not only an awesome grand opening, but client referrals, possible franchisee members, employee training. So all my employees would need to watch it so they know the philosophy behind what the building is. Um, customer validation. Over the next six years, the health and wellness industry is expected to grow at 6% annual rate. Um, the global hospitality market is expected to grow 3.9, you see the numbers, billion. Um, and what I've been calling this is holistic hospitality, basically, for so people can envision what I'm trying to do. But the first facility is set to have 72 healing rooms. Six um, and six handicapped rooms, which is 78 rooms. So a regular um, resort spa recovery um, center that you would go to charges $30,000 for 28 days. So that's where I got that number from. Um, and that equals two, 
basically 2.3 million dollars monthly for your maximum cash flow which equivalents to 28 million dollars a year or 140 million dollars in a five-year period and that's just the maximum cash flow how are you planning to finance this venture um hopefully with investors and partners <laughs> Um, so there are a bunch of things. What, what brings you here? First and foremost, what brings you here? What brings me here? Um, well, the help and the guidance, hopefully. And I mean, cause I honestly, I'm high school dropout. So I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> and I'm feeling a little, um, like a minnow in the great big ocean. <laughs> Yeah, so that's not unusual, you know, a first time entrepreneur's journey is extremely, you know, complex and there's a lot of learning that you have to do. So what is your capacity for learning? You know, there is a lot of online learning material available today through which you can fill the gaps right. in your learning. There is there's a tremendous amount of learning that you're going to have to go through. In well, and I've already done a text. lot. I've already done a lot. Like, so um, I started thinking about this idea in 2020, January of actually. And um, when I started this process, the only thing I could tell you about holistic at that time was that it's natural. Like I knew nothing else. So over the last two years, I've done a lot of learning, not as far as entrepreneurial stuff, but a lot of learning as far as holistic and coming up with this idea and all the different um, modalities I want to implement, what the room's going to look like, and all of that. Yeah, so my take is that this is not going to be financeable. The scale at which you want to finance it, I mean, a facility with 72 healing rooms, that's a massive amount of financing that you need to even get yourself off the ground, that is not going to be financeable. Nobody's going to give you that money to start something well, like that be, off the bat. Well, it can it can definitely be scaled down. I scaled it up a little bit so that way, because I read where it's easier to get pre-seed money if you are going to be able to generate $100 million in five years. That is not easier to get seed money. That is the only kind of venture that gets funded by investors, by institutional investors. But that's not the point. The point is to get there, you have to provide a lot of validation. You, you, people don't fund concepts. People only fund businesses that have validation and even in some cases traction. Especially if you're a first time entrepreneur, there's a lot more need for to show that you have already you know, figured out how to put one foot before the other, which is not the case with you. So I think my guidance to you is number one, you should go do the one and by one and basic curriculum. And it's gonna require you to spend a good 50, 100 hours to really get the details of how to put one foot before the other in building a business. That's number one. Number two, I suggest you pare down your business idea to something that is manageable in a bootstrap mode, what we call a minimum viable product. And, and I think based on what I've heard so far, this, uh, this course that you're talking about of, uh, where is it? The master class. Yeah, the master class is something that you can do as an online course. And yeah. if you think that is something you can sell, that if you think you can sell that course and, and start generating money and start generating some activity around that, one way you can get this going is with some online learning, offering and starting to build relationships with clients who believe in the kind of holistic, holistic healing that you're talking about and so forth and start building a business. Uh, as it stands, on this concept, you will not be able to raise money, so you won't even be able to get yourself off the ground unless you do something pared down and something very specific. And I think this masterclass, 
idea is potentially doable as an online business, and that's where I would steer you to start. Okay. Start it. You mean just as an online business teaching the master class? Because there's no way to provide this healing as an online business. Like, I have to have a building with the integrated health system that is going to deliver these yeah, modalities to fit to the individual client needs. Building. Casey, huh? I don't think you would be able to raise money for this building. And without raising money for this building, you would not be able to get this thing off the ground. Well, my first design only had 28 rooms, and it was going to cost $5 million to build. No one's going to give you $5 million to get this thing going. Okay. That's the problem. The problem is always in an, in an early stage entrepreneur's journey, the problem is always chicken and egg. So hang on for a bit. Let me explain how to use 1 million by 1 million, then you can take, uh, okay. take these resources and start a learning process. You really have to learn. You know, okay. and you really need to learn systematically the whole discipline of how to start a technology company or an online business if you want to do the master class. The other thing you can do is kind of, I don't know if you have any money to start kind of doing this practice, not as a resort, but as just like a kind of consulting practice type of thing with people. But I, I suspect the online learning online teaching may be a more lucrative business for you to build. Yeah, I can't like without having the, I cannot do the healing without having a healing room to do it in because I have to have like the float pool and yeah. Yeah, all of that is going to be very difficult to afford based, based on your current situation. So maybe the, uh, the master class is, is something that you can get started with. Okay. So, in terms of resources, uh, you can go to 1m1m.com. Everything we offer is available there. Uh, the right. blog and the Entrepreneur Journey series are very useful learning tools. The Entrepreneur Journey's book series is something you can use to get started with. Uh, these roundtables okay. happen every week. You can come back as All many right. times as you want. You can only pitch one for free. Otherwise, if you want ongoing help, you're going to need to join the premium program. Okay. Um, the premium program is an annual membership fee based program, $1,000 annual membership fee. We offer you extensive methodology guidance. We offer you access to the curriculum. We help you with business development. We help you with regular coaching like this in the premium sessions. Um, and we help you when you are ready for financing, we help you with financing through our network. Um, I suggest all of you look at the self-assessment tool, which is a free tool available on the website, and start asking these questions so that you can start doing the kind of due diligence investors would do on your venture. I also suggest you do the one-hour bootstrapping course available on the top of the blog, uh, it's an excellent primer into how, you know, really businesses get built and where if you start as a bootstrapping company, you have a chance of getting the company funded. You have to, however, bootstrap first and raise money later. That is the principle on which most of technology entrepreneurship and most of entrepreneurship in general happens today. Another place you would find a lot of learning material is on Udemy. If you go to Udemy, do a search on my name or go to, the, um, to our website and go to this link here, you will find the, all our courses listed. Uh, Maureen, I think this is missing the, the latest one that you just turned from free to premium that you may want to include that one. But, uh, but these courses are also good starting points. Uh, the comprehensive 1M by 1M curriculum, soup to nuts, is available. This is over 3,000 hours worth of curriculum. is available as 1M by 1M basic, curriculum only $99 a month. So, Casey, this may be your best bet is just go start doing the course and learn how to put one foot before the other. Um, 
So go dig around on the website, try to understand the premium program, the basic program, video FAQs, FAQs, um, curriculum description. It is a case study based curriculum. There are a lot of people who have done this before you and you get to learn from them in the curriculum. We have thousands of case studies. And I do want you to understand the investor introduction policy that we have. And that's all, again, because that's how the industry operates. You have to, uh, you have to basically get to fundability before we will send you around to investors. And uh, our mantra is do not go to investors as beggars, go as kings. The bootstrap first, raise money later is the philosophy. That is all. We can go, there are four more uh, free roundtables in July, and we are ready for further Q&A. Uh, Taha, I think, is here and has a lot of questions. Taha is one of the premium members. So Taha, if you could uh, join the phone line or use the computer audio, whichever way you want to do it, it's fine. But uh, let's get started on your stuff. So while Taha is getting organized, let me also offer you Irina Patterson as a contact person on our end, on our team. You can ask Irina questions about the program. Um, is Taha ready? Taha is not ready. Okay. All right, is there anybody else looking for time with me, questions? Is there anything that you would like to discuss? Anybody else in the room? No? Casey, do you have any other questions? Um, not at this moment. Okay, great. All right, so Casey, the good news is that on the internet, not only on our site or on through the 1M by 1M community, there is a tremendous amount of material available for you to learn. So you have to learn the basics of how, you know, a business gets built. Since this is your first rodeo, you're going to have to learn the, the tricks of the trade of how to do it right. So mm -hmm. get started on that learning and it's going to pay immense dividends. All right. So Tanya says, I would like to promote the blog. I'm not sure what blog you're talking about. Um, that's not me, I don't think. No, this is Tanya. So we don't promote blogs here, Tanya. This is a resource for mentoring entrepreneurs. So if you're trying to build an entrepreneurial venture and you're, you need help with that, that's something that may be available to do through that process. So if, it's, if your blog is part of your entrepreneurial venture and you become a part of the 1M by 1M premium program, we can help you promote your blog through our resources. We do have a lot of social media presence and we do let our premium members use our social media channels to promote their social media, their blogs, their articles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, for that you need to be a member of the premium program. And it would only make sense if you are trying to build a business, a tech, tech or tech enabled services business. Make sense, Tanya? You you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? I don't see any other questions, so I am going to adjourn for today. We will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.